The following video is sponsored by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is your one-stop shop for sticker sheets for Transformers of all generations, from reproduction labels for the oldest pieces in your collection, to upgrade sets for the most recent retail releases. They also make labels for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and more. ToyHacks.com Welcome back to Stick It! My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for SS44 Optimus Prime Trailer. This set has 52 separately numbered stickers on three sheets and costs $24. I would like to stress that this set only covers the trailer for Studio Series Leader Class Optimus Prime, and the cab is only here for illustrative purposes. Toy Hacks has made a separate set for Optimus Prime himself that I hope to cover at a later date. Upon release in 2019, this trailer was a very flat and boring grey box, nearly devoid of coloration. The focal point of this set is the large silver stripe it adds to either side, which the sticker guide on Toy Hacks' website stresses that you must apply before anything else. You're meant to apply heat to make these labels conform to the sculpted rivets underneath, though with my janky hairdryer, my results probably weren't the best. You get some extra Autobot symbols to go over the stripes in case they didn't conform enough, which I gladly used. The other additions worth talking about here are these stripes running along the top and bottom. They may look nice and pretty on the finished product, but let me tell you, this result was only brought about through about an hour of mistake-ridden work applying and reapplying these stickers. The long stripes, the blue one up top and the one with the reflectors at the bottom, weren't much of a problem, but the blue stripe at the bottom with its much shorter segments was the most difficult. This set features multitudes of minuscule labels, and even with a fine-tipped pair of tweezers, it was quite the challenge. I didn't even finish the top stripe on the rear door since I lost one of them, and the other wouldn't come off the sheet. I'm glad I was able to finish the tailgate section with its absolutely pin-sized taillights and gleamingly reflective silver bumper. You get some options for the license plate, but I went with Till All R1 as I thought it was the least tacky. Unexpectedly, the underside gets some love as well with stickered mud flaps with chromed ends and shadowing effects on the frame holding the rear wheels. Finally, the front of the trailer completes the blue striping and adds some much needed silver and red to the... I want to say refrigeration unit. That Autobot symbol at the front is a great addition, and I love the way it looks peeking out above Optimus' roof. In its weapons ring configuration, the trailer doesn't get much of anything added to it by this set, and really, what could they have even done? I suppose with some more artistic license, one could have made an esoteric homage to the detail inside G1 Optimus' trailer, but with all the sculpted ridges inside, I doubt it would have worked. The best we get are some bright blue light details that you have to lure inside these weapon ports. They make Wheeljack's taillights look like a dip into the kiddie pool. A more major selling point of this set, at least for me, were the upgrades for Prime's arsenal. Out of the box, these weapons were flat and boring, save for the minimal effort the sword had put into it with its painted orange blade. In this set, you actually get two different options for the sword, one which resembles the more glowy arm-mounted blades from 2007 and Revenge of the Fallen, and one that glows on the edge as in Dark of the Moon. I wish Optimus had come with two swords so I could try out both options, but I went with the more Dark of the Moon inspired stickers on mine. The axe also gets a glowing effect on its blades, but it's not as convincing as the sword in my opinion. I'm really happy with how the shield turned out as there's actually some changes in tone and texture instead of being a flat grey board. I really appreciate the battle damage markings on its face. Those dual hollow guns Prime is supposed to wield in Jetwing mode get details of their own, though they're not nearly as comprehensive as those of the other weapons. I wish there could have been more details at the rear, perhaps on those flat vents or on the top, but otherwise they look fine. You even get a bunch of lit barrel labels to make them look more like actual weapons instead of bits of componentry. 
That brings us to the jetpack itself. From the front, this piece doesn't really look like anything's been done to it. There are some new light grey stripes of the same vinyl as found on the sides of the trailer, but that's pretty much it. The back, however, is a much different story. For starters, these ridged struts are each given a new chrome shine, and while the application was a little repetitive, I think the end result was well worth it. And speaking of well worth it, those thrusters. Besides those absolutely minuscule stripes in trailer mode, this was definitely the most complex and intricate part of the set, but in my opinion was far more fulfilling. Seeing these beauties in Prime Zone red and blue flames is exactly the kind of personality this figure needed, and I couldn't be happier with its execution. This easily makes up for all the earlier frustration by far. The Toy Hacks labels for Studio Series Optimus Prime's trailer do a lot to mitigate most of the visual complaints I had regarding the base figure, encountering a desolate grey wasteland and livening it up with enough color to really add some personality back into this previously dull power-up kit. The jetpack and weapons look amazing, though in my opinion the tediousness I put up with stickering the trailer itself took a bit of joy away from the finished package. If you do buy this set, be prepared to set aside plenty of time to make sure everything is set just right. This is not a set you want to rush, trust me. Now, the question is, is this set worth its price? In terms of the sheer number of separate stickers you get, then it easily beats some other sets I could mention. However, if this is your first jump into the world of unofficial sticker upgrades, this is definitely not a set I'd recommend. If you've already acquired a handful of sets and feel like getting some bigger projects underway, then I can safely say you won't be disappointed. If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. When we return, we'll be heading back to Earthrise for a bot who's got plenty of options, so stick around for the next Stick It. This has been Kick Catastrophe, Transform, and Roll Out.